the way I've experienced it is that it is, it is a process because we have to retrain our mind. Mm. We're conditioned by society, by our teachers, by our, all the people around us, basically, that money is the goal, mm -hmm. right? That you measure your success by the amount of money that you make. Mm -hmm. And that is totally wrong mm -hmm. because you're putting the power externally. You're saying the success is out there. Mm -hmm. You're forgetting the, the, the cause and the source of that success is the mind. Mm -hmm. So we have to retrain it. It is a process of, uh, say, uncovering, discovering your personal money story that's embedded in your unconscious mind, mm -hmm. what Jung would call the shadow. That story has been driving your the level of success. Mm -hmm. The amount of money that you make, we can be pretty sure, is in your unconscious mind. And you, when you reach that, it's like a glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. You cannot go beyond it. Something external happens and it appears to be coming from the outside. And you think, well, there's nothing I can do about it because it's the economy, it's a job market, it's something external. But in essence, it is your mindset that's that you're hitting up against. Yeah. And it's all those conflicts because we do have those is that we know on a deep level that it's not just about the money. And we want to make the money for security. Um, I always think there's, there's like a, a survival mechanism to money is like I have to, and then a social aspect of it. You have to make sure you look good. And it's like, why do you want it? What do you want to use it for? Um, but for me, I remember anytime we were stuck financially and we were going to the next level in our business, it had nothing to do with my money ideas. I mean, a little bit, but most of it had to do with my own shadow, my own parts of myself that who I needed to become to have that kind of success. What kind of leader do I have to become? What kind of, um, how am I okay with myself? Mm -hmm. You know, when I was first started out, I did everything myself. I didn't have an assistant. I mean, for years, I did everything myself, which I'm still trying to get away from. But I would, I would be so afraid of taking a risk and I just put everything on myself because I didn't, I felt like I was like that mother type that I just felt like I could do it all myself and never ask for support. And everything started to shift when I started asking for support and I hired an assist, my first part-time assistant and then kept going. But it was like all these things that have nothing to do with money impacted the business um, and, um, and our ability to be uh, work with other people, understand um, that money really is, comes through relationships. Our success comes through relationships. And if we don't have a good relationship with ourselves mm. uh, or parts of ourselves, they're gonna be projected out as shadow projections in our partners or, or people that we do business with. And it'll feel as though that trap again. Absolutely. You know, like um, a lot of our coach, we talk about um, in our coach training about consults and working with how to get clients on the phone and a lot of times people don't realize, and no one is teaching this, that the client is actually, that comes on the phone, the, the people that you that sh show up for their consults are reflecting you. Uh, they, they just kind of have these consults, oh, this person didn't show up or this happened. And <laughs> they're trying to change what they're doing to get a different result versus going, what is this saying about my mind? Why am I getting everyone saying I can't afford it? Why am I getting everyone that's not ready to commit yet? Why am I getting wishy-washy people? Why am I getting people that aren't showing up at all? Like, what is that about? And um, and for me, the, just even understanding how to, how to convert a client and empower them to take a coaching package uh, is all psychological. It's not about the marketing because you can drive a hundred people to a consult with you. And if you don't know, if you don't have the mindset or the, the capacity to express, you know, really allow that and receive that, it's not going to, it doesn't matter how much volume you get. You'll be pushing it away and rejecting it. Yeah. It's an incredible thing. Uh, and it's There's so, so much difficult. to cover here on success that I trying to touch on a, a couple things that I know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, it's so difficult for people to accept because, again, our senses are are designed to look outward, mm -hmm. to think that, well, obviously, if I have to work for the money, it must be out there. Mm -hmm. 
But the mind is essentially the one that determines what is possible. 